Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Switzerland. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we will be very, very shortly joining up with the Allies, and it's currently almost 38. So we're approaching World War II. Again, we do have a uh, historical focus on, so I'm assuming it's going to happen around September of 39, but I don't know if that's actually guaranteed. America will invest in us. Fantastic. France has joined the Allies. We'll take a stance. Can I? How, many, how, how angry is, is Germany? They're at 30. Oh, but now it's actually not the French opinion we care about. It's the British opinion. Did they carry over close ties plus 60? It doesn't clo um, carry over France's opinion modifier, but that's still okay. We're going to stop improving relations with the Germans. They now have a plus 80 opinion. Or not plus 80, but they have a plus 30, which is still pretty good. We're happy with that, which means that we can... You know, meddle around a little bit more, which I'm happy to do. There is a nice little research bonus for us. I mean, it's 30. It's actually almost 38. We probably should have gotten these techs a while ago. But we'll get them now. Better, better late than never, I say. Three military factories. Do we have any aircraft? Nooks. We're still waiting on close air support. Small bomb bays. Weight goes up. Agility goes down. They're also a little bit slower. Are they better? Close air support, logistics strike versus bomb locks. Which are better. But they lose a little bit of agility. I mean, we can probably have them be able to fight everything, theoretically. But you know what? Just a simple bomber here. I don't know if there's anything else you could... I mean, there's some more some stuff. Night penalty would actually be quite nice. Bomb sites. Which makes their shitty bombing better, but I don't care about that at all. Yeah, so throw you in here. Throw in the bomb bags. I don't... You know, actually, no, remove you. Do you actually bomb locks? Allow slow air strike, naval strike, logistics strike. Round attack six. Okay. Actually, you're both strategic bombing bonuses. Yeah, so give me a nighttime modifier here. Defense turrets, I don't think we care about. I mean, maybe we care about them a little bit. We'll throw you on here. Reliability right now is 80%. Nighttime penalty, I mean, I'm happy to have it. Julie's a little bit low. But I don't think there's really too much we can do about that right now. We I mean, could throw some engines on there. Give it, again, gives it more thrust. But it uses way more fuel. I, I think this is okay. We'll, sa we'll save this up. We will start producing our own carriers. Or not our own carriers. Our own... Um... Did I put them on the carrier and not the... <laughs> okay. Uh, do not put them on the carrier one. Just put them on the... Regular modifier here. Just on the on the regular. Put the bomb locks on that. Save you up. Yeah, no. Use use you instead. Don't put the carrier fighters. We don't need those. I mean, I'm nice. I'm happy the options there. But it's just it's just not really. No template for total artillery. How many do we have? 104. I mean, we're going to have them eventually. I don't I don't think we can edit our units here. Yeah, no. I mean, our, our army's garbage. Which which is a bit of a shame. I, just, I wish our army was better. You know, don't get me wrong. I think that would be nice for us. But eventually, we should be able to replace them. We get arm neutrality, but I don't think that might be worse for us. And of course, we can't get any of our... freaking bonuses down here. We could theoretically buy German planes... Hypothetically speaking, ban the Swiss Communist Party probably doesn't really benefit me too much. Um, is there even any like no, no, there's like no support for the communist or the fascist? Also, I just upgraded the plane when I forgot I was reaching the thirty. I was researching the thirty-six aircraft as well. Good on me there. Always one step uh, behind myself. Can I get anything better? 
Okay, well, once again, let's put our machine gun turrets, put on our radio, uh, radio, throw you on here, save you up. You're our new one, right? Yes, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna give you a different icon, just so that I know that you're a different type of lane. I mean, it, it wastes a little bit of um, air experience, but it's not that bad. I think we have like five. Okay, new president, who do we want? Encryption, decryption's kind of garbage. And the first two are kind of the same. So we got Gustav Mota. Who is... I, mean, I guess we don't really need you anymore, right? But Albert Mayer, we need even less. Yeah, so let's replace you. There's got to be somebody good on this. Construction speed it's kind of not great. I mean, command power? No, that's that's not what we want. Of course, you guys are now cost points, which is not... You know what? Now we can actually take a stability. Boom, there we go. Now we can take a stability. Very soon. We don't need any of you. Don't think we need to worry about any of you either. We can now extend Maginot without making the Germans mad at us. But before we do that, I think we want to join the Allies. Because Italy, you're not in a faction quite yet. At, at some point, they should join the... Um, they should join the Pact of Steel with, with the Germans. Holy Central Power. Do I want to start pushing you? No, because you all need them to be left as well. Strength and High Command. Consolidate Power. But I don't think I want to push you too much. I mean, the surrender limit goes down. War support goes up. I think right now they, sh they should be okay. Also, I'm not researching anything. Good work on me. You make construction speed bonus. And what I want to build, probably take one off rifles, put two more on close air support. We're going to kind of rely a little bit on our uh, French and British allies who provide air cover. How well will that work? I don't... I don't know. But hopefully it works well enough. Military high command. Infantry specialist? Specialist is not that good, though, are they? And then we can't get any of you... yet. Okay, we've joined the allies. We're gonna follow that up with connecting the Maginot line. Yeah, there's the Anschluss of Austria. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Draw out our front line a little bit. But now, of course, French units can actually enter our territory as well, which is nice. I am I am a little bit worried about France for the obvious reason that they will capitulate fairly quickly in the event of an actual war. And Mussolini, they, they should be allied soon. 13,000 rifles. Can I train any more of you? Apparently, we can have an infinite number. Wait, can I can I modify these units now? Yeah, because there's no longer a limit on you. Probably because I'm in a faction. Okay. So there's no limit. I want to make sure these units are not awful, but we have no army experience. So I guess we should exercise. I mean, how well does the exercise actually work? Point... <laughs> Okay, it basically does nothing. Do we, have a, do we have a field marshal yet? No, but I can I can promote somebody. There we go. We're gonna make you a field marshal. Uh, you know what? Defensive doctrine makes I think a lot of sense, uh, given our strategic position in the country. Also, we have so much political power. Can I get more economy? No. We're on limited conscription, which actually should mean that my yeah my mobilization is actually gonna go down pretty significantly actually. I mean, we'll get infantry specialist now, because at some point we will want him. We still have 200 points. Command power plus 50. Increase military readiness by 10. You know, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more push towards the center. Because I think at some point we don't want to get our way back over to the canton. So that we can get these modifiers. But now I cannot do this. 
Oh, I can't do any of this at all due to the fact that uh, we are in a faction. Okay, cool. Maybe I, maybe I don't care about having it be neutral anymore. But one thing I do care about. Do I even have any building slots? I have one building slot. What about like a big airfield? Just an absolutely massive airfield in the middle of uh, Switzerland. Yeah, okay, connect the Maginot line again. It's going to make Germany a little bit mad. Oh, no, they don't care anymore because we're in, that, we're in a faction. Cool. So we do have a little bit more leeway. Play the groundwork, get more supply hubs. We could make France mad, but, like, who cares? Because, again, we can theoretically buy... We can still kind of work with the Germans a little bit. Like, we can still buy their aircraft. Okay, let's lay the groundwork. So do we now have, like... We now have level, 10's, uh, level 10 fortresses across the German border. Which is absolutely, like, fucked. <laughs> That is, that's, that's very powerful. Let's just put it that way. Oh, so how's our spies doing? We have two operatives. Where did I even send you? Are you right? I sent you over to here. Boost ideology. One of you can boost ideology. Actually, how democratic? Oh, they're significantly less democratic than they used to be. Boost ideology, please. I did want Romania to maybe join our faction. I think, I think that would be nice. But I don't know how likely it is to occur. Expert focus. How, what, what do we actually produce in Switzerland? We make aluminum, but I don't need that much aluminum for my army. So we can go up to free trade. Give me a little bit of a research bonus. A little bit of factory output bonus. Happy with that. And it doesn't really cost us anything. Because we... Um, we do need some aluminum for our aircraft, but it's not, like, a ton. What year is it? It's 38. Okay, go for the 38 research. You'll be done in a few days. We'll then go for some 38 rifles. We don't have trucks researched. That should be our next focus, because I probably need trucks to supply my units at some point. Okay, let's break German ciphers. 960 days. I want to break. I want. I do want to break their ciphers. We know what they've done. Have they done flexible foreign policy? We do want them to see if they will appoint a friendly allied government. Okay, I mean the democratic is is going up a pretty decent amount, so I am happy to see that in Romania. Okay, here's literally like nine. <laughs> Nine beautiful military factories. I would say that's a little bit broken. It seems just, I mean, it seems to me at least a little bit overpowered, but I will take it. Also, Spain is going to get themselves killed off very, very shortly. They just need to lose Madrid. Somehow they, they've managed to keep Madrid, and I'm, and I'm fairly impressed with their ability to do so. But I don't think it's going to last too long. I need army. I need military experience. Which means I need one of you to get, uh, yeah, have a passive army experience gain. But I can't do that, unfortunately. So, my units are just going to kind of suck. And I can't have them not suck right now. I mean, because you're garbage. And it costs five points to do anything with you. Because you're also militia. So I guess we'll just train up, well, I don't know, like 16 basic divisions. It's not, it's not like um, vanilla. Hoi 4 has a division cap, so we can just train up a bunch of garbage. I don't like it. I think it's very bad. But I don't really have much of a choice in the matter, because again, we have no army experience. And we can't hire a chief of the army. And also, there's just no chief of navies to ever be hired. Let's go for trucks next. Because we, we will probably need them at some point. I feel like we've kind of gone through this tree the wrong way. Because again, we, we just can't hire any of our... Like, all of our fucking military trees basically locked off forever. 
I mean, again, we have, we have some stuff down here. Oh, I mean, okay, 100 army speed is here, actually. Okay, so we do have some stuff. Just not, not a ton. I mean, actually, if you look at it, the way that we've kind of played this game off, like, this whole tree we can't do, the rest of this stuff we cannot do until we get more, um, until we boost up towards the cantons again. Which, at some point, we do want to do. Yeah, Germany is, will be doing the... Is it the Vienna Award? What, what, what is it actually called? It's just the Mansu Land. Yeah, the Vienna Award is after they've taken Dan Land. I mean, Germany should end up backing off. Or, uh, yeah, Britain should be backing off. Infrastructure, might as well get all of that going. I mean, we're a small country. It's not like we have uh, a ton of options at our disposal. France, how many units do you guys have? 82? Where are they? <laughs> like, are they all in... I, I don't know where they all could be. I, I feel like there's a lot of units that are missing. These units will deploy soon. They're what, like four combat width? I mean, we could maybe... I mean, we have enough artillery to throw some artillery pieces in these armies as well. That's, you know, that's a, that's a future concern of ours. But we can't do this because we're not at war. Can't do this because we're not at war either. I mean, none of this really makes sense for us. Renounced gilding principles. Yeah, let's let's do this. Which I believe means that you're no longer going to take down. Yes. Like I do think I want to push you towards the like back towards neutrality a little bit. Just ever so slightly. That is a four times one hundred bonus towards armor. That's a little wild. Um yeah, look at the 39 rifles. And we have so many military factories. Uh, we don't have trucks yet. For one more artillery, give me one... Ah, we probably don't even need more on trains. Because now, with our 100 army experience, we should be able to get these units up to something at least resembling halfway decent. You think I can get them up to 20 combat with? Thing is, do we have the do we have the manpower to get him up to the 20 combat with? I mean, I've I've heard that 18 combat with actually is a little bit more meta recently. So let's see if we can save this. We have the manpower for it. We are still we are still losing a lot of it though. In any of the militia, do we not have any militia. Wait, it's it's a, it's a uh, template. But I can't edit the template until uh, we actually occupy territory. So then what are all of you guys? You're these other garbage units that I can't do anything about. I mean, you're all mountaineering divisions, and that's nice. We, we, we can utilize uh, a mountaineering division. When are you guys be actually ready to deploy? November 12th? Again, we're not going to be at war before November 12th, so we should be okay. Max entrenchment, yes. Matt, again, it just makes sense when you look at where we're where we are uh, actually at. Push for centralization. Command power plus fifty. Not really something we care about. Yeah, let's just keep on pushing again more towards the middle. Do not look, game. Even though I've turned off the Allied Speeches DLC, or not the DLC, the radio station in there, I would like for you to just, just, just don't play the Allied Speeches ever. It's not good for me. 1.18, did one of my agents get killed? Or did you just, or did you just finish your job? I don't know. Root out resistance, diplomatic. You know, let's put a little bit of diplomatic pressure on Romania. 
Did they get killed? They, they must have been killed. And I just somehow did not notice. Which I'm, I'm sorry for the, the family of our brave agents. That I have kind of fed them to the wolves effectively. You know, I was thinking, I think we probably actually can maybe get some tanks in here. Give me the medium tank designer. Because you're going to be a research bonus. What else are you? You're a reliability and soft attack bonus. Okay. I mean, I am, I am happy with that. Because now we should have four times 100. So you should be able to get away with like... Probably like 1940 medium tanks pretty quickly. Yeah, 200. Yeah, I mean, we, we should have. Well, Gary is approaching German Reich. Why would he do that? You son of a bitch. Yeah, let's get our weapons on democracy. There's a research bonus. It's a 200% research bonus worth nuclear weapons. It's, it's, that's never going to come up. I mean, it's nice. I like that nukes are in the game. It's just that one, nukes are garbage in this game. And two, they unlock like 1944, I think, like the earliest, which is not beneficial to anybody. Can I combine all of you? I consolidate you. You will also be defending this army as well. I mean, we have a decent air force. I mean, it, it's completely dwarfed by all of our neighbors, but I would say for our size, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. We need more steel. We'll get that from France. I need one rubber. We'll get that from France as well. And our infantry will be deployed very, very soon. Where do I want these units going? One on the German border, yes. Probably actually deploy an entire army up uh, against Belgium. Just because, I mean, both me and you both know what's going to happen in Belgium. I mean, we're still losing manpower, right? Yes. I'm going to split half of you here. And I am... G yes. I'm going to assign you to the Belgian front. And just in case, because I know France might leave things a bit... Why do we need one convoy? To get supplies up here? I mean, you know I don't have convoys, right? Oh no! I don't want license production. I can't cancel it. I want. I need. I need lend lease. Cause I need apparently one single convoy. I don't even know what for. But apparently, I need it for something. Yeah, we have. A, we have a lot of rifles. We just. We just need. I cut us actually in half. Put one more on you. Three on you. Put the rest in planes for now. Until we have the ability to start making some tanks. Even aircraft bonus as well. 1940. Self-sealing. Heavy machine guns. Better engines. Range improvement. Cannons too. You, you can't actually upgrade bombs, apparently. Bombs are as good as they get. I guess we'll go with engines, too. Maybe make our planes a little bit faster. And then we can make our rifles. Yeah, up, upgrade those guys. Upgrade those bad boys. And like, you guys, I'm not planning on you invading Belgium. How many, how often are elections in this goddamn country? Consumer goods minus 10%. We'll go with you. 112. Look at power gain plus 50%. I mean, that's, that's quite a lot. Right now, yeah, 3.8. 
We don't have anything else left down here to do. I have nothing else to do over here, so I guess we might as well try to purchase some German planes. Like, sorry, if, I mean, it makes France a little bit upset, but who cares? Because I can't get any of this. Like, this is just locked off forever. And then we can eventually, if we can get back up to neutral, we can do more stuff in this tr uh, in this tree. Yes, yeah, so we need to go back to neutral. We need to go back up to neutral uh, ASAP. Because we no longer want a, um, uh, a council-favored country. But we can still buy German planes. I don't think it actually benefits Germany. I mean, it's an opinion boost. But that's not really saying too much. I feel okay, relatively speaking. I also, I would like more manpower. Did I even put, okay, you do have artillery in here. Motorized would be too expensive. So some cavalry in here. Doing right, cause claim a mel, not a surprise. And it's 39, okay, so we can start going for 39 industry techs now as well. Which maybe like maybe we don't want to get the 1940 plane now. Maybe we want to focus more on industry techs. But I do want the tanks. I think I think the tanks make sense. We can just get even if we get like two units of tanks, I'd be happy with that. But I do think that at least for the moment, it's gonna be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not to thumbs down. You want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.